guys it's Ruby Raven from Truth Be Told Transformations I had a request to do a video on how to protect your energy of course you guys know there's several ways first I all I have to say a legal disclaimer that way you know cuz it it's very important for YouTube and any video that us you know if this is just merely my opinion um, I've learned some of these things in Reiki I've learned some of these things through word of mouth some of them from my guides um, I'm not I'm gonna some of these things are just general topics um, that can help you, okay? Um, but legal disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, a lawyer, a counselor, um, psychologist, any of that, this, that, or the sort, okay? You guys already know if you've been watching my videos, I'm a certified chair reader, been reading for many years, and as well as a level three Reiki master. And I'm continuing my education um, in both realms, so meaning both reading and healing. So, um, first off, we need to know why do we need to protect our energy, okay? Because we're empaths, right? And empaths absorb, absorb others' energies. I do have notes here, okay? So, when we're in crowds, or even when we're just near another person, or even when we conversate with another person, someone can even think of us and it sends energy to us, okay? But mainly, don't think about what I want you guys to focus on right now is being on how to protect your energy physically around somebody, okay? Um, so it creates, so when we, you know, we talk to somebody on the phone, we pass somebody, I think it's like, I can't remember exactly, I can't, don't quote me, but I think it's like up to like 15 feet or something like that, or, um, that you can absorb someone else's energy. Some people are longer because their light bodies are longer, okay? So it's very important to protect your energy. I'm going to tell you what I, one of the things that I do and I've learned to do as soon as I wake up in the morning before my feet even hit the floor, I'm going to teach it to you, okay? You can do this before you, if you forget in the morning, it's okay, do it when you remember, or before you go into a crowd or a store, you can always redo it. This is how I do my energy shield. So I stand up and I'm like, I point to the sky and while I'm doing this, now if you can't, if you're not a seer, when you close your eyes, you can't imagine, use your other senses, hear it, feel it. Sense it, taste it, whatever sense work for you. Point to the sky like this, okay? I want to screw it down here. I say what's mine is mine. As I draw a line to the floor and point down, what's theirs is theirs. As I'm drawing my line down, my eyes are closed and I'm imagining white light protection from heaven or from source, universe, whatever you, for your angels, whatever you believe in, is coming around you and creating basically like an egg or a dome, like oval, okay? And then I'll extend mine out. But you don't have to worry about extending it out, okay? And once you point to the ground, it's closed. If you can't see it, because some people are not seers, their third eye is not open yet, then feel it as you draw the line down. Hear it. Maybe, maybe your it goes whoom. Imagine what that sound feels like to you. Okay. Some people might pop a piece of gum in and you know imagine they're taking like a, a magic medicine that you know they might pop a, ma a magic medicine and it creates a shield for them however you want to do it okay but create something for you that you can use every day or whenever you need it that's just mine and that's a really easy one okay um let's see here so there's something that we do in reiki forgive me because i do have chemo brain i can't even remember what it's called but i'm going to show you to wipe off energy i do it after readings i do it after being around anybody i first cleanse my chakras like this I do it this way. Other people just go like this three times each. Okay, I do my chakras first three times, then each right side, left side, right side, left side, shake your hand, right side, left side, and then your arms, right? What, like you're getting something nasty off of you? And that's getting the energy off. Right side, left side, right side, left side, okay? And you do it three times each, all right? And clear your chakras, however. You can cover your, I cover my crown at night when I sleep because um, as a light worker, um, we are, you know, the demon, the negative entities are attracted to our light. Um, and we are often attacked, um, so we always have to have our guard up, and I do cover my crown at night. Um, or I wear protection oil or something, and that's why you see me cover my head a lot of times in my readings, okay? I don't always do it, but if I don't do it, then I'm, um, it's called veiling, then I have, I'm veiled another way. But I always veil. You can imagine a veil coming upon you. You can wear something on your head. You can sleep with something on your head. You can go out with something on your head. Protects your crown chakra and also your third eye, okay? And you guys don't have to do that if you, you know, that's more for like readers and people like that. But 
if you're having nightmares and think you might try it, it might work for you. And you can always call upon Archangel Michael to come in for protection to help you. Pray. Prayer is good. Stating the intention. I am cleared. I am shielded. I am protected. Okay? I'll get more. I have one. Some written down here later down one. You can wear gemstones that are protective. I always wear black tourmaline. Also, I always have selenite on me. Okay? Black tourmaline clears, cleanses, does a number of things. Um, the the typical colors, uh, black, any black stone is for grounding and protection. Red is usually for shielding. Okay, of course, you see what the gemstone means. Make sure you guys know how to clear your gemstones. I can do a video on that if you like. Charge them, cleanse them, protect them, okay? Uh, and, and how to program them. I'm gonna, I can show you here real quick, but I think that's a, another video, okay? Um, so let me know if you wanna see that video. Let's see what else. You can also get a protect, make or buy a protection or cleansing smudge spray. Like you can get um, sage sm sage spray, Palo Santo. You can also use the smoke. This helps cleanse your energy, but you can also draw something for protection. Whatever your protection symbol is. Some people use crosses. Some people use pentagrams. Some people um, use Reiki symbols. Uh, some people use runes. Okay, I could do a more on that if you guys want. Um. Cleansing your home and your space helps too. Uh, I didn't even list that one. But you can use incense, frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, whatever works for you to smoke. You're supposed to cleanse corner to corner, top to bottom, and open your drawers, closets. You want to give it in every nook and cranny. Make sure there's a window open. And like if you have it upstairs and downstairs, try to have a window in each room. If not, at least one on each side of the house or each level. Okay, because if not, the negative energy or if there's any spirits in there they're not supposed to be in there they're gonna be running around in circles okay <laughs> so you want to make sure they have a way out and that's not just scary you know but they're everywhere you know um they're not gonna hurt you don't worry about that so let's see here you can get it on amazon you can get sprays on amazon you can buy them if you don't know how to make them you can look up ways to make them on pinterest Another way is to cut out energy vampires, okay? And I'm going to explain all of this about boundaries and things, all right? So we all have energy vampires in our life. They could be your boss, your family, your friend, your roommate, uh, your, you know, kids can even drain us, of course. We can't, you know, if we're younger, <laughs> of course, you know what I mean? You can't really cut them out, right? But most people don't even realize that they are energy vampires, okay? Most. How they're doing it, they're, so they're unconsciously sucking your energy. Maybe they're depressed, they're going through things. Um, but you're going to know it if they're an energy vampire because you're going to feel shaky, weak, sick, nauseous, drained. You might get a headache, might have heaviness in your chest, things like that, okay? So limit your time with them or limit the, eliminate them by cutting them out altogether and assessing your boundaries. Some people that do know about it could be jealous or narcissistic. They know what's going on. They know what they're doing and they're doing it to try to absorb your power your energy, your power, to use it for their own, they like your kindness, um, and your your nature, they know that they can get you to do things for them and it benefits them, right? So cut those ones out of your life, if you can, okay? Because what they're going to do, if not, is going to suck your energy dry, right? For the ones that you can't cut out of your life, just set clear and healthy boundaries, all right? Boundaries are very important. It took me a long time to learn this lesson because I'm the type that would ask anybody for help and help anybody, whether I knew them or not. Um, I offer, you know, genuinely to read for people, help people in any way that I can. Now I only do it if Spirit tells me um, to, but I mean, I'll help it, you know what I mean? But I had to learn to let people come, they'll come to me if they need help. I mean, I'll ask, you know, certain people... But, I mean, I would ask everybody, and I wore myself out, and I still wear myself out at times, but, so I'm learning this lesson too, guys, so it's not just you all, all right? But, uh, and another thing, online, even on, like, social media, assessing your boundaries. This is why clear boundaries or setting clear and healthy boundaries is so important. For example, limiting the amount of time you spend with a family member, a friend, or online because it sucks your energy, right? You're not being rude. That's, um, or being mean by setting clear and healthy boundaries. It's actually great for your health and your health may even improve. A lot of people have seen statistics where it improves their health. Um, it's vital for you to do this, okay? It's vital for you to set healthy and clear boundaries. A lot of people have seen stress and anxiety improvement 
when they set these clear and healthy boundaries. Boundaries can and should be used in all relationships, even the most loving and healthy ones should have some sort of boundaries. When thinking of how to set boundaries, here's some questions you can ask yourself. You can write them down and make a list, and this is gonna help you learn how to set boundaries if you're not sure where to start or how to do it. What am I willing to put up with? What am I, and what, what crosses the limit? Who do I need to set boundaries with the most? Like who drains your energy the most? What am I comfortable saying yes to? What am I comfortable saying no to? And be upfront about your empath needs with others. Say, I recently discovered I'm an empath. You know, I've been so drained and tired lately, you're not feeling well. And I wanna, you can even say, you know, I'm gonna test this out and see if it helps. It's not you in particular, you know? Um, it's just my energy is, it is um, very, very fragile. And you know, or you know, if they start to ask questions or you can just limit your time there, um, you know? You need time to re rest and recharge, and that's very important, okay? There's ways to say and do things without sounding great. And if you tell them that, you explain it to them, and then they get pissed off, chances are they're a toxic person anyways, and, you know, it, 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 you're going to lose people. If you're an empath and if you're on this path of light, you're going to lose people in your life if you're doing it the healthy way, okay? Um, it, it's a fact of life. So... If you're in a place and like a doctor's office um, or in the store or somewhere and you and you can move somewhere else and so because someone comes by you or you feel nervous or shaky or negative energy maybe someone new comes in and sits down beside you or standing in the store move okay you can also do the thing there you don't have to use your arms you can always just imagine you doing that in your mind or you can just feel it or state an intention I am protected I am shielded you can pray, you can call upon Archangel Michael or your guardian angels, whatever you feel comfortable with doing. Avoiding body contact is another way to help protect your energy because energy passes very quickly and very easily when you touch others, when you speak to others. Of course, then there's thinking about others. So we're, we're just talking about mainly being around people, right? So if you have to hug people that you, you know, like a friend or family or shake their hand, just kind of do it, make it brief and that will help. Um, of course, you know what's best for you, you know, so another way, another thing that helps with this is practicing detachment. Learn how to walk away and knowing when to give up on, try, on helping others or uh, to know when to walk away, knowing when to give up on trying to help others. Like, you, you know how you try to help people when they don't want your help or they act like they do, but then they don't take it or they, or, or the, I'm walking away from the, the people that tend to overuse your help right so knowing when to give up helping others is very important when it comes to protecting yourself and your energy realize that when we op that we open up attachment or sorry we open up a channel when we're doing when we're talking to someone being near someone helping someone so when we're doing that, we're opening up a channel of empathy. When we, we open up a channel of empathy when we decide to help others, even if they don't want it, which means we are taking one another's energy. Most don't even realize that, which leads to being more stressed, more exhausted, and more drained. Because and this is from being in a constant support to others, more than likely if you're an empath, until you learn boundaries, everyone, right? So learn to let people come to you if they genuinely need or want the help, they will right? If they generally need it, they'll come to you. Because so many um, do not want help. So many people are too proud to, to accept the help or, um, or or will abuse that help. Or they're waiting on you to ask. They know you'll ask, and they but they constantly, you know, abuse and use it. Like, they, they you offer to help, and then they sit there and do nothing when they're capable of it. You know what I mean? You know the type of people I'm talking about. All right? So let them come to you. And you know, if they learn how to set your clear boundaries, and okay. But this is, but know that setting boundaries, per, energetic protection, as well as cleansing, all of these things are a part of self-love. They're a part of your uh, spiritual hygiene, essentially, okay? And remember, it is not worth it to go out of your way and help people or to spend too, you know, have other people in your energy constant, in your, 
you know, depleting your energy and things, because some people can still break through their shields, and that's when, you know, it's, if you're just starting out, you'll be all right, I feel, um, but it's not worth it being around anybody if they're continuously draining you, making you sick, okay? So, another thing you can do is visualize or feel protection. Put up the shield that I taught you earlier when you have to go in public or be near an energy vampire. If you forget to do it, 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 you can do it at any time. I do it before I go to Walmart again. You know what I mean? Or, or I don't like Walmart, but if I have to go in there or the mall or a store or gas station, I do it. Get out of my car, you know, things like that. If you can't visualize, you can just always close your eyes and just state the intention, I am protected. Feel it, hear it, sense it, taste it, smell it, whatever that would smell taste like to you. You can even make up your own thing. It's your intention that matters, okay? So you can use mantras and affirmations. An example of an affirmation that you can use is, negativity has no choice but to leave when I am present. And I always add, I added this extra to it. I always say anywhere, anytime, or any place that I am present at any timeline, any dimension, any reality, or any space in between. In all timelines, all dimensions, past, present, future, no, that covers all that. And I say, and so it is, okay? That's because of my beliefs, so, you know, with timelines and things. But that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. So another thing you can do is practice meditation. There are small, I listen to meditations daily, okay, that for energy protection. There's one by a girl named Ricky Rachel that I use um, sometimes. There's other ones that I'll listen to at night. Sometimes I listen to frequencies on the lowest setting, you know. You can, there's so many things you can do. Um, but you can look up guided meditation or just ones that you listen to a, a protective frequency, find a video on TikTok, you know, a Reiki video. I will put one, one out for you guys if you guys would like. Um, but, you know, meditation is good. Not only will it, can you use it for protection, but any type of meditation is also will help reduce anxiety, enhances your self-awareness, improves your emotional health. Increases your concentration, promotes better sleep, it will also help your, uh, open up your all your clairs, all your psychic abilities, okay? Another thing you can do is spend time in nature to reset your emotions. Ground into the earth barefoot if you can, outside, okay? It's called earthing. If you can't go outside, you can do this inside the house, or if you can't be barefoot, you can do it with shoes on. You just imagine your feet are growing tree roots, okay? If you can't see it in your mind, feel it. What does it feel like? You imagine your feet getting into the cold ground. You imagine that ground, you know what, you see what I'm saying? You'll start feeling tingling in your feet and things when you concentrate on that area. And that's that's part of meditation. And you feel the, you, the tree roots grow and grow. And you can even just say it in your mind or say it out loud. My feet are growing tree roots. They're grounding into the, into the earth. They're reaching the core of Mother Gaia or Mother Earth. I am grounded. I am, and then you take a deep breath. As you do, breathe in, you're... You got, you're feeling, you feel like the sun or you feel the light of source or the light of the universe or white light from heaven pouring down upon you. And every time you breathe in, you're breathing in that white light. And every time you breathe out, you're letting go of the negativity. The white light's building a shield around you. It's protecting you and you're breathing out that negativity. And it's going into Mother Earth and being transmuted by source to help Mother, I always say to help Mother Nature, you know, it's it's transmuting into protection for her into vitamins and minerals that the earth needs and the you know mineral plant water kingdom and animal kingdom needs you can however you want to do it to state your intention works you can also use that to power yourself okay those are videos for another time but these are just some examples of course there's many 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 more all right um these are just the ones that i i use and some things that i thought were very important to bring up Guess what time? It's 1858 on the clock. You know, 8 8, so that's confirmation. So, um, I'm going to be doing some different types of readings here. We'll do see what spirit wants me to put out. Um, probably do a Reiki video. We're going to do some love readings, financial abundance readings. Because um, I did get a, I'm supposed to put out one for um, a love, a continuation of one of the readings that I did before. Um, but, anyways, I will be doing. Maybe another reading tonight, uh, this evening, sometime today, and probably a Reiki video. And this week, I'll be putting out videos um, as I can because I do have a couple of some really important things to do this week, and I have a business meeting. And uh, 
consult thing so we'll see how that goes but anyways guys uh, remember you know these are just merely my opinion and what I've learned what I've been through what I've read I hope that it helped you guys I really do um, let me know if there's any more types of videos like this that you would like to see thank you for the suggestion until we meet again love you guys